The eye at this point of the day has returned, but its stream key is glowing brighter, pulsing with strange energy after its trip behind the sun. It's uh, about 10 times uh, bigger at the very least uh, relative to previous interstellar object. What if the weirdest thing flying through our solar system right now isn't even a comet? On October 29th, an object called 3i Atlas passed close to the sun, and suddenly it started speeding up. Telescopes caught it glowing bright blue, brighter than our own sun for a few seconds. Astronomers were stunned. Even scientists from Harvard admitted it didn't behave like anything they'd seen before. And here's where it gets even stranger, because NASA hasn't said a word about it. That silence is what's making people wonder, did something just enter our solar system on purpose? Well, let's start with what we actually know about this thing. Atlas isn't your average piece of space rock drifting through the void. It's special because it's only the third interstellar object ever found entering our solar system. The first was Aumuamua back in 2017. Then came Borisov in 2019, which looked more like a normal comet. And now we've got Atlas, and it's a completely different beast. When astronomers first spotted it using the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS for short, they thought it was just another icy body. But then, the data started to confuse everyone. This thing wasn't just big, it was massive. To put it in perspective, ATLAS is about a million times heavier than Aumuamua, and about a thousand times larger than Borisov. If Aumuamua was the size of a ping pong ball, ATLAS would be like a multi-story building flying through space at incredible speed. Now, here's the part that really gets people talking. Usually, when something that large moves that fast, it makes sense only if some powerful force is pushing it. But in Atlas's case, its speed and size combination is so rare that scientists gave it a probability of less than 0.1% of being a natural object. And remember, this isn't coming from random bloggers. It's from the same people who study the physics of comets and interstellar travel for a living. They've seen comets behave in all sorts of ways, melting, breaking apart, changing orbits slightly, but nothing like this. Atlas moves faster than any object of its size should. It's defying the basic rule that bigger things move slower because they need more energy. And that's where the story really picks up speed, because Atlas wasn't done surprising everyone. When it got closer to the sun, that's when the real shock hit. As it swung around the sun on October 29th, something happened that no one saw coming. The ALMA telescope noticed that Atlas was about four arc seconds off where it should have been. That might sound tiny, but in space terms, that's massive. It means something pushed it other than the sun's gravity. Now, comets sometimes get pushed a bit when their ice vaporizes, shooting out gas like mini rocket thrusters. But in this case, the math didn't match that explanation. The amount of acceleration was way too high for normal outgassing. Then things got even stranger. Around the same time, solar observatories like SOHO and STEREO recorded Atlas suddenly flaring up. It brightened in a way no one had ever seen before, not only glowing brighter than usual, but actually turning bluer than the sun itself. The color shift shocked scientists. No known comet has ever done that. It wasn't just reflecting sunlight differently, it looked like it was releasing energy or reacting to something. But here's the thing, the story doesn't stop there. Because the next thing Atlas does, that's where science itself starts to fall apart. The first anomaly is all about its trajectory. Atlas isn't just moving in some random direction, it's actually traveling backward compared to how all the planets orbit the sun. That alone is weird. Here's the thing, it's also perfectly aligned within 5 degrees of the solar plane, the same flat disk where all the planets move. Imagine someone tossing a basketball backward across a stadium and having it land right through the hoop on the other side. That's how unlikely this is. Scientists calculated that the odds of this happening naturally are only around 0.2%. The second anomaly is completely flipped expectations literally. It's called the solar jet reversal. When normal comets get close to the sun, the heat causes their ice to melt and shoot gas outward, forming a tail that always points away from the sun. But Atlas did the opposite. It developed a jet of material pointing toward the sun. That's not just weird. That breaks the basic rules of how comets work. No one's ever seen that before. Then comes anomaly number three, the size and speed combo. 
Big objects usually move slower because they're heavy, but Atlas is both massive and fast, which shouldn't happen unless something gives it an extra push. Statistically, this combination has less than a 0.1% chance of being natural. Anomaly number four is the perfect planetary timing. When Atlas entered our solar system, it managed to pass near Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, while conveniently staying invisible from Earth during its closest approach to the Sun. Think about how insane that timing is. It's like throwing three darts at the three different moving targets and hitting all of them while someone else turns off the lights at just the right moment. Scientists said the odds of that happening are only about 0.005%. Next up, Anomaly 5, the metallic composition. Spectroscopic studies showed that Atlas has a weird ratio of nickel to iron. It's nothing like what's seen in natural comets, which usually have ratios based on how the solar system formed billions of years ago. What's strange is that this ratio looks more like the metal alloys we make in factories here on Earth. That's why some people started wondering if we're looking at something artificial, or at least something that didn't form naturally. Anomaly 6 is another big one, the lack of water. Comets are mostly frozen water and dust. They're basically giant dirty snowballs. But Atlas? It's only about 4% water by mass. That means it's mostly rock and metal. Imagine finding an iceberg that's 96% stone. That's how unusual this is. It's so dry that it can barely fit the definition of a comet anymore. The seventh anomaly dives into something called light polarization, which is how light waves twist and reflect off surfaces. Atlas shows an extreme negative polarization, something no natural comet has ever shown before. Even Borisov, which was confirmed to be natural, didn't show anything like this. That means when sunlight hits Atlas, it scatters in a way that known materials simply don't produce. Then there's anomaly number eight, the wow signal connection. Remember that mysterious radio signal picked up back in 1977? It was called the WOW signal because of how strong and unexpected it was. Well, get this. Atlas came from almost the exact same direction in space, within about 9 degrees of where that signal originated. In cosmic terms, that's practically the same neighborhood. The odds of that happening by chance? Around 0.6%. And finally, anomaly number nine, the impossible blue brightness. When Atlas passed near the sun, it didn't just get brighter, it turned blue. Not just a little blue, but bluer than the sun itself. That's something even high temperature plasma struggles to do. There's no easy way to explain how a comet-sized object could produce light like that without being made of something completely different from any other natural material we know. When you look at all nine of these anomalies together, the odds of them all being natural are basically zero. Astronomers estimate the chance of all of this happening randomly is less than one in a billion. In science, that's another way of saying impossible. So, what are we really looking at here? A bizarre one in a trillion comet, or something that's not a comet at all? Because here's where things take another turn. Scientists think a tenth anomaly might be coming, and this one could force everyone to rewrite what they know about space. You see, on December 19th, 2025, Atlas is set to pass close to Earth. If it really lost those billions of tons of material like a comet should have, telescopes will easily spot a huge debris cloud around it. But if there's no cloud, if it still looks clean and solid, then we're looking at something that accelerates without losing mass. That's not just unusual, that's impossible according to the laws of physics we know. That's why observatories all over the world are getting ready for that day. NASA, ESA, and private telescopes are preparing to scan every inch of Atlas's path. But here's the strange part. NASA hasn't given any major updates since October. And leaked internal data logs suggest that even Starlink feeds went dark for a few seconds when Atlas passed behind the sun. So, what do you think? Is Atlas just a random space rock acting weird or something we weren't supposed to notice? Tell me your theory in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, because when December comes, we might finally get our answer straight from the universe itself.